Pez 5 Master League is here. Episode 4, The Valencia Experience. <laughs> let's load this save up then. Let's get into this. Because I'm enjoying this, guys. I hope you are as well. Last time round, we beat Villarreal in the derby. And there was, there was all sorts. There were shenanigans. There was tackles flying in, fouls every two seconds. Let's change the kit for Betis there. They do clash a little bit otherwise. Okay, let's see who's in form. Let's see who's not in form. I don't know about that Karlamov. I think he's a bit dodge. Mister's on a red arrow. Let's give him a game. He doesn't play as a winger, but he can play as a second striker. So all I've got to do is assign that role to him rather than... How do I do that? Like this. There we go. Yeah, select role. Rather than him play as a right winger, he can play as a, like I say, a second striker. That's his preferred position, I guess. So, yeah, let's do this. It's the Mastaya. We're back at home. Oh, there's people in the ground this time. Look at that. It was half empty last time. We were uh, at home, I think. So on come the Valencia players. You never see the other team. You never see them walk out together, do you, in PES 5 on PS2? Or have I made that up? I don't know. Who knows? But anyway, I liked that Valencia kit. I liked a lot of the night kits around this era, 2005-2006 season. Here we go. Vicente. So... I guess this is a must win because after this Mr. Whips it in. Ah, oh, it's too high. It's over everyone. Um, what was I going to say? After this match I've got tricky fixtures. It's way over. I think I've got Atletico Madrid after this. Then Athletic Club. Athletic Bilbao. And then Real Madrid. I think. And that's a trio of fixtures. Who remembers trios? Trio. Lovely little chocolate bars. Were they chocolate or biscuits? Anyway. <laughs> or candy bars, as you would say in the US. So, yeah, I gotta win this match. That's what I'm getting at. Because those three games are gonna be tricky on paper. But as Andy Gray used to say, paper never won a football match. That was a terrible, terrible impression of Andy Gray. That's brilliant from Abelda. We haven't... Oh, we haven't conceded a goal yet in this Master League campaign. We are on six star, as you would have noticed when I was loading up the save um, at the top of this video. So, yeah, let's, let's see. Let's see what Betis have got here. Let's see if I can keep another clean sheet. But like I used to say in the Juventus Master League save. Rest in peace, the Juventus Master League save, by the way. As an aside, so many people reply into the video saying, oh, I, really, I really missed that. I was getting, you know, I was really getting into that, that series. I'm so sorry, guys. I was loving it as well. I really was. Been having sleepless nights about it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, like like I've said before, if you didn't know, Windows was being annoying and I had to reset my Windows in a nutshell. Here we go, mister. Is he offside? He's offside. There isn't a minute that goes by, guys, that I don't think about the Juventus Master League save. Master League series. Good times. They were good times. But there's more good times to come at the channel. There's, there's plenty more of where that come from. So stick with me, guys. We've got lots of pairs, lots of FIFA, lots of goodness arriving on this very channel. Anyway, here come Betis. I, I don't remember a lot of these Betis players. I'd be lying if I said that I do. Torres plays it to his keeper. Total football here. Look at this from Valencia. We don't just boot it. Play it across the back. Can be a little bit risky if the opposition is pressing you, obviously. 
but it's just how I play. It's how I like to play. Clivert. It's Kanira. Oh, I don't remember Kanira. He's in for... That's a foul, ref. I'll bring it back, ref. I want a free kick there. I don't remember Kanira, but yeah, he is playing instead of Gaspar. I think I was right in saying that he got sent off in the previous match in the derby against Villarreal. It was a close affair in the end, and it uh, ended up just being 1-0. Well, I won it 1-0. And we got out of there. We got out of the whatever the stadium was called. Short flight back to Valencia. And uh, the players partied all night, but I did tell them to get to bed by 2 a.m. at the latest. But Baraka here is looking a little bit hungover today, so i better keep an eye on him. Betis, nice. Nice on the eye, neat and tidy, not doing anything with it, though. And there you go, they give it away, they get it back, though. Oh, they got Joaquin. Is it the Joaquin, though? I don't mean Joaquin Phoenix. I mean the guy who played at Valencia, didn't he, at one point? The winger. Here's Marchena for Valencia. Here's Moretti. Right, what's on for me here? Oh, look how deep Betis are. Look at their back line. They've got, like, a back six. They've got, like, a back four. And then the two defensive midfielders more or less joining the centre-backs. I've got to break these down. This is going to be tricky. Look. Look at their defensive midfielders there. Just standing on top of the centre-back. You can't get more defensive. Oh, they've left now. They, <laughs> they've left. They've joined in midfield again. Here we go. Giving it away. Mister to Cliver. You can't get onto that pass, mister. Oh, this is a dull match so far. Extremely dull. And Canazares claims that two minutes of stoppage time. Has anything happened apart from my ramblings in this first half? I can't think of many incidents. Clivert. Ah, oh, come on. It goes over. Or the deflection goes over. So it's a goal kick for Betis. Here's Fernandez. Here is Joaquin. I think this Joaquin dude is like a left wing back for them. So it could be the dude who ends up at Valencia or used to play at Valencia. I don't know. Ah, oh, that is brilliant from Torres. He's been superb as my right back so far in this save. But anyway, it is half time. So boring that was, guys. So boring. What I might do is play the Atletico match as well in this episode, but not edit anything and just have two matches, full matches of my lovely commentary. Hopefully my voice uh, won't start annoying you by the end of the video, but I might, guys. Let, 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 let's see. There might be a little edit or two in there. I don't know. Let's see how this uh, shapes up, because if this second half oh, is anything like the first half has been... It's not a lot of fun for you guys. Pez 5 can be like that. You can get board draws. I always remember it was infamous for its nil-nils, this game. I always remember um, an official PlayStation magazine actually touching on that in the review. And I always remember the... Uh-oh. Oh, it's a foul. I always remember the conclusion to the review saying something like, Never has the nil-nil draw been so satisfying. In, in video gaming. I'm paraphrasing, obviously, because I don't remember reviews from 2005 that well. But, yeah, you do get lots of draws in this game. Or rather, you do get lots of low-scoring games in the higher difficulties. Because they're very tactical matches. And I like that about this Pez. Absolutely love it about this Pez, actually. Bet is playing a little bit higher up the pitch in this second half. They're actually trying to attack, which will open up spaces for me. So, oh, come on. What's that? This is frustrating. I always come a Roy Cropper against, or I seem to, against the quote-unquote lesser sides. 
Ah, it's too easy for Canizares. He's offside anyway. Fernando, Fernando is offside. You could tell it's dull when I start breaking out into song. Right, here's Mister. Oh, my days. Mister has given the ball away so many times in this match so far. Oh, that's a lovely ball to Vicente, who finds a Belder. What's he got, a Belder? Clivert. Oh, Clivert! Ah, what a tackle that was from the Betis defender. That was fantastic defending. Right, Vicente. Ah. Here's Juanito for Betis. It's just two teams here who don't want the ball. I give it away, then Betis gives it away, and then I give it away again, etc. Hey. Right. We need to do something in this match. Look how tired Kanazar is. is. He doesn't do anything. He just stands there. <laughs> do keepers get tired do you think guys in matches professionals I don't think they do they can't do they're in the gym and stuff all week they're super fit guys like I don't know who knows who knows apart from the goalkeeper union if you're a goalkeeper at any level let me know in the replies um, you might have just noticed that I did the triple substitution because we need to liven this up and three brand new players might just do that. Mister does well there. Oh, we're going to get another bite. David Villa. Mister. Oh, Mister. <laughs> I really thought one of those players was going to get brought down for a penalty then. Oh. I like these corners with not much power put on them. Like that. Oh. I cursed it. There you go. I'm always cursing it with my commentary. Straight into the keeper's mid-drift. <laughs> and here come Rel Betis now. I should deal with that. I do. It's a goal kick, surely, ref. It is. Probably the most boring game we've had, or definitely is, so far in this uh, Master League save. Pez 5 Master League save. Mister, this is better. Ah, oh, that's not, though. That's poor, that. The Mexican wave has just started, guys, in the crowd. The crowd aren't happy. or well, the crowd are just bored. Hey! Oh, here we go. Oh, the referee's just gonna. Oh, he's actually booked him for that. Oh, I'm rightly so. Good referee in that, because I didn't notice that. I was too busy uh, watching the Mexican wave unfolding. Betters have made a substitution. Valencia here, trying to get something going again. That's poor Mr. Mister's had a lot of the ball, but he hasn't done enough with it, in my opinion. Is David Villa? No, it's not David Villa. This is like one of those really nervy, anxious, set first legs of a semi-final in the Champions League or something. Both teams don't really want to go forward too much. Is Mister? Oh, no! Yeah, both teams are afraid of, like... Risking too many players forward and they'll they're all just like yeah We'll take the nil nil and then we'll see what happens in the second leg. It feels like that kind of match to me oh, Torres has been immaculate. He really has I'm up a Belder. Yeah guys sent center midfield. I need center central midfielders So when transfer window opens we'll be looking at some players, but if you've missed any of the previous matches, I am in debt. Valencia are in debt. So I need to sell some players, basically, before I can buy. Oh, come on. I, I, just a scruffy 1-0 will do now, because 
I can't really afford to draw this match. Uh-oh, Canazares does what Canazares does well. And he sweeps up so well as a goalkeeper. He's always getting on to those through balls for me. Danielson's come on for Betis. I wonder if that was the Danielson we saw at Arsenal. I don't know. I, I'm unsure of the eras here when it comes to some players. Hey. Four minutes of stoppages. Four, four minutes to endure this painfully boring football match. But we will have another game in this. Our oh, little back heel. I'll play the Atletico Madrid game as well in this episode because I love you guys so much. Oh. Ah. Oh, it's good pressing. It was good pressing as a collective as well there. Right, come on. Don't let them in at the end. I want to keep this clean sheet going. It's going to be another clean sheet. Or is it? Is it? It is another clean sheet. So, quick edit, guys. Let's play the Atletico Madrid match. And here we go. Valencia against Atletico Madrid. We're at home again. Um, at the Mestalla but because I've drawn, or I've just drawn, against Real Betis 0-0. The poor draw. Um, the stadium's empty. The Valencia fans are very fickle in this game. Not in general. I'm sure Valencia fans are awesome in real life. But in this game... They just don't turn up. Oh, there's a few there. But if you draw a match, they're, they're, they're not turning up. They're going to watch you on uh, on TV. Anyway, Atletico Madrid at home. This is going to be tough, I reckon. Here's the vow. So, I would have edited the video, guys, so you wouldn't have seen my starting 11. I've gone with a very strong 11. Uh, but the vow is in form, apparently. I think he was. Anyway, I'm playing him. So we've got Facente here on the left, the vow out on the right, and Davivia as the striker. Can I keep this clean sheet run going? It's getting crazy now. And you saw, guys, at the beginning of the video, I'm playing on six stars. I will show you again, actually, after this match, just to show you. <laughs> That I'm not pulling the wool over your eyes, or whatever the expression is. Oh, that thought. Oh, yeah. Uh, what would be the point? Oh, that's a good shot. Yeah, there'd be no point. I don't enjoy football games if they're easy. I hate it, in fact. So putting it on three star or four star, I would just be scoring at will. And I'm not, like, blowing my own horn, whatever the saying is. Um... It's just too easy unless it's in five or six star for me. So six star for PES 5 because... Oh! I used to play a lot of PES 5. As you guys know, because I must tell you every single episode. But yeah, I've played hell of a lot of this game in the past. So putting it on anything under six star, it gets a little bit too easy for me. So, with all that being said... Here is Lopez for Atletico, but I get a foot in. It will be a throw-in to Atletico Madrid. Lopez. Galetti might be offside. It doesn't matter. It's going to go out. I don't think he was offside, actually. I don't know what I'm on about. I mean, look. There's no one here at the Mastaya. It's silent. Here's Marchena. Fabio Aurelio has got a form arrow. A good form arrow, I should say. That's why he's playing at left back instead of Moretti. But hopefully we can get something going here. Because the previous game, like I kept moaning about, was pretty boring stuff, wasn't it? It's Baraka. It's Torres. Oh, Torres tries too much there. Oh, what a bit of uh, tackling that was. Oh. Ah, oh, ref. I knew he was going to blow then. As soon as you hold a bit of pressure in this game, the ref blows up for free kick. Right, come on, Valencia. David Villa. Ah, it's very scrappy, this match. We've got Gaspar back. Aye. As he just runs out, or runs the ball out of play. 
But yeah, we missed him in the previous game. He's brilliant in midfield for me. He was suspended because of the uh, foul. I've already talked about this, haven't I? We're in the same episode here. What, what am I doing? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, he was suspended. I'm going to change this, guys, to a 4-4-2. To my other formation that I've saved here. We did start with this against Barcelona in the first game. There we go. Okay. Let's just go for this. There's no way we can keep drawing games. We need to win this. Devao and Davivia might have to take Vicente off because he is a winger. He's not a central or an attacking midfielder. Oh, Aymar. There you go. There we go. Right. Let's just try and catch Atletico Madrid by surprise, maybe, by changing the shape completely. We've now got two strikers up front. That'll give him something to think about. Okay. Right, here is Devao in his new position as the centre forward. He's more comfy there. Oh, he does well, Devao. Have a shot. Oh! Devao gets his first goal for Valencia. Or this season's first goal. I don't know if he was at Valencia last season. I don't know. Who cares? Oh. Hope I didn't scream too loud then, guys, but that <laughs> that's excited me after that previous match. Oh, I love those kind of goals. They they don't look or oh, they look realistic to me, don't they? The way he just cuts it across the goalkeeper. Look, keepers maybe should do a little better, but I always say that about the keepers. You gotta give them a break, these keepers. It's 1-0 to Valencia. Ah, oh, come on, Gaspar. I thought, I'm not shooting enough. Or I wasn't, was I? Just now in the Betis game. So I thought... Yeah, as soon as I get an opportunity to shoot, I'm going to shoot. And it ends in a goal. So... Oh! Right, nothing silly now. Ah, oh, commentator's curse as I do something silly. Here's Galetti. Lopez. I'm not, not going to try and say his name. I remember Molinero for Atletico. Oh, he does well. Finds his mate, Valera. Oh, it's a deep one. That's good defending, that. I just kept my eye on the ball all the way there. But yeah, Devao popping up, getting a goal. I was, oh, I was saying in one of the episodes, might have been episode one actually of this series, where did Deval play his football before or after this? Because I recognise him and I used to like him. It was Juventus, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it was Juventus. Because I said Roma in that episode and it wasn't Roma. I'm sure he was at Juve. But anyway, I wonder if... Torres is Atletico around now. I think he was. A very young Fernando Torres. But he doesn't seem to be playing. He might be on the bench for them. Or well, oh, he will be, won't he? Because you can have as many subs as you want in the old Pairs games. It's Baraka. Aymar. Gaspar. All get a bit of luck there. Gaspar! I got a lot of luck. I got a few bites at this. And then Gaspar, look at that. Good save, goalkeeper. Oh, that was a naughty corner, that. Oh! It's the vow again! <laughs> oh, he's on fire. He's on fire. Again, apologies for shouting. I can't help it. I get so hyped when I score a goal in these old pairs games. It feels just right. It pings off the bar as well. I love the physics in this game. It's 2-0. Oh. We needed this, though. We needed some goals because... I don't want to get into that routine of... Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, I thought I was going to be a foul, you know. 
Yeah, I don't want to get into a habit of drawing matches. I drew too many in the event to save. Oh, Davao's in. He wants his hat trick. Oh, it's a free kick to Valencia if I stop play. There's a Belda. Torres. Just play until half time now. Let's see this out till half time. The change in formation, though, guys. It is half time. Yeah, the change in system has really helped. It's made an impact on the match completely. Atletico Madrid at the back uh, are struggling a little bit against me. But it's still, or I've still not conceded a goal in this entire La Liga campaign. And I'll go back to my point, guys. Or I'll go back to what I was saying. I will show you at the end of this video, with no edits or anything clever going on, that I'm playing on 6-star. Because Pez 5 was notoriously difficult in 6-star. It was a tough game. So, I am getting a bit of luck here and there, I think. And I am playing quite well. So, I'm going to give myself some credit. Again, I am a bit of a veteran, if you like. That sounds very pretentious of me but i am when it comes to pez 5 pez 6 not so much i didn't play a lot of it i'm worse at pez 6 than i am at pez 5 even though pez 5 is a more difficult game make it make sense uh oh but i'm uh, harping on as if like i've won this 4-0 like atletico are more than capable of getting a goal or two make no mistake about it uh oh. 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 All oh, the oohs and ahs are coming out straight at Canazares. Yeah, um. We, we are defending. I say we. Valencia are defending really well. In every single match I've played so far, we've defended really, really well. I'm really thinking about what I'm doing from a positional point of view, from a positional sense. And I'm watching passing lanes and that kind of thing rather than just piling in on players. That's a good cross. Ooh. Athletico knocking it about, but again, they're not. Hey, it's his own player, does he? They're not threatening me, are they? Not really. Oh, that's a wonderful pass from Aymar. Ah, oh, Deval. I thought it was 3-0. I thought that was his hat trick. I thought he was taking the match ball home tonight. But keeper does well. Stands his ground there. Makes the angle dif difficult. And he does well again. F uh, Franco, is that their keeper? I don't remember Franco, I have to say. Here's Lopez. Oh, they got Kesman up front. Did they start with Kesman in this match? It's the first time I've seen his name. Here's Dabavia. Dabavia. It's a free kick. And this is a good position for uh, Aymar. Oh, look at Canazares. He's knackered again. What is he doing? What is he doing when... Um... <laughs> yeah, in his spare time, basically. <laughs> is he out on the town every night or something? Anyway. Here come the new troops. Some new centre-backs, because my ones that are coming off are knackered. Right, let's score. Come on. I'm going to hold R1. And put a bit of curl on it. Oh, it's the bar. Look at this. The animations in this game are so good. So, so good. Yeah, um, and apologies if my microphone has distorted at all, guys. I sit quite close to it. I keep it on a boom mic arm, whatever they're called. So... Because my mouth is closed, when I shout, I've noticed audacity peaking. Uh, sorry, not audacity. OBS peaking. Sometimes I use audacity. Sometimes I use OBS. Depends on my mood. 
The only thing is, I'm going to get technical now. You have to have Audacity and OBS running at the same time. Then I have to match the voice sound files so they correspond with the footage, if any of that makes any sense. Because Audacity generally gives you a cleaner audio file, but OBS is just easier to edit afterwards. Uh-oh, too much talk about audio settings. Kesman nearly gets the first goal against Valencia this season, but it's not to be for Atletico. So yeah, basically what I was trying to say is I do everything in OBS. It's just it's just easier. Press record. It separates all my audio tracks for me as well. It's a pretty cool bit of software, OBS. I love it. But the atmosphere is dreadful, isn't it, in this game? It's got to be set, unless the stadium is full. Hopefully it will be next time round, because if not, I'm going to have to start thinking about maybe playing a little bit of music in the background or something. But then again, it's a bit cheesy, that, isn't it? You don't have music in the background in a footy match. Unless it's like the Skybet Championship and Redin score a goal against... I don't know. Stoke City. It's Devau! Redding get a goal, and then you get the uh, the music piped over the tannoy. Da, 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 da. You know what I mean. Oh, it's Torres! Fernando Torres! A very young Fernando Torres before Liverpool snapped him up. He was amazing at Liverpool. Pains me to say it as a Man United fan, but he was so good. He had everything. Power, pace, incredible finish. Really exciting to watch. He could do it all, couldn't he? He went off the boil quite quickly, in my opinion. Chelsea ruined him. He shouldn't have... Hindsight's wonderful, but he shouldn't have moved. He should have stayed at Liverpool, but obviously Chelsea were offering him... More money, I guess. I don't know. His Baraka. Oh, it's Devau. Oh, Devau is really hungry for this hat-trick. But will I, will <laughs> I'll try that again. Will Valencia ever concede a goal? Get your bets in, guys. Imagine I actually go a season without conceding a goal on six star. I'm getting way ahead of myself because what? We're like four. F this is five matches in. So yeah, we'll see. We'll <laughs> we'll see. Oh, that's good strength from Abel. We're just playing down the clock now. There's no point in going for another goal. We've got this. 2-0. I'm, I'm more interested about keeping the clean sheet to see if I can do this. I've set myself that target now. That's what I'm interested in doing is, is like I say, keeping the goals out. Because I've never been able to do this in PES 5. Never been able to concede zero goals. It's three minutes added on. Canera, he's been all right, Canera. He's come into the side for his first match of the season. He's done well. Oh, no, he played in a previous game, actually, didn't he? Ignore me for Gaspar. And that's a foul. It's in stoppage time. I think this might all... I think this might be all over now. I think we might have another clean sheet. Davavia does well. Hey, that's a corner, I think. It is. There's a player on. Ah, oh, silly for me. It's full time. It's another clean sheet. Can you believe what you are seeing, guys? Can you believe it? And will it be enough for me to go top of the league? I don't think so because of the draw in the previous match in this episode. Let's look at the league table. Let's see where we are now after those two games. I'm intrigued by this. This is craziness. And I will show you guys. I keep saying it, but I'm going to show you that I'm on six star. You're just lying to yourself otherwise. That's what my mum would say. You're just lying to yourself. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. Too much Coke Zero, guys. Um... What's this condition warning for? I don't get it. What's happened? No one's injured, are they? Let's have a look. Is it because of our, our, our Belder's got a blue arrow? 
Is that why it's telling me that, guys? Let me know. Um, yeah, let's have a look at the league first. Oh, Barca, look. Flying. They haven't lost a match. Neither of Real Madrid. That's the issue with this division. Those two are always so powerful. Getafe have not picked up a point. They've conceded 12 goals already. Okay. General settings. Here we go. Ready? Six star. And you can't change it. It's grayed out. That's what I like about the old Pez games. It's like, that's that. you gotta, you got to stick with your choices, your life choices now. Hope you've enjoyed that episode. A bit of a long one. We're flying now. Valencia, the good times are here again. I just hope the fans start turning up. Um, I might have to put out some flyers or something for the next match. Look out for more content coming to the channel. Got loads planned. I'll speak to you all very soon.